was back in May of 2017. It was still just so new to stuff like that. It was definitely my first wheeling trip and it was the precursor to my very first Overland Expo West. Fast forward to March of 2020 and this time we're gonna do Hell's Revenge again, but this time in the new Prospector XL. We in Moab, y'all. By the way, more plate. Thanks for the new bag. It is their state. There is from biggest Jason's monster truck down to the little Montero we got out here. <laughs> How you like your new truck, dude? Love it. This has been it's been a fun first trip for sure. I think it's more fitting for you. I mean, you're. Yeah. <laughs> I'm six one. And I'm, you can see he's like towering six, above eight, me. Yeah, I guess I need a power wagon. <laughs> I really wanted the best fitting truck for me. There you go. I think this works, man. This is the uh, this is the old C4 for a uh, forerunner. C4 C4 Tundra. This is yeah. definitely not a forerunner. Looks awesome though. Yeah, I'm a little nervous about this uh, trail today. I've haven't done Hell's Revenge since uh, well since. 2017 in the forerunner maybe it was even 16 it's been a long time Can't quite get a bite. So close. Maybe around here. That was, uh, that was a piece of cake. Of course, I've got a ton of flex because I've got no rear sway bar and I've got practically 40 inch tires. They're not quite. These KM3s measure a little small for 39s. All in all, pretty impressed. This is the first set of technical trails, technical trail I've ever done in this thing. Man, I never would have tried that in my Forerunner. I guess it hit the, uh, it said it hit the radius on it. I'm not, I'm not really sure what the purpose is of that. That was, uh, that was pretty gnarly looking. I mean, it's a pretty good size ledge. Just to give you some, just to give you some scale. <laughs> I'm standing at the bottom and this is like a little over waist high right here. I don't know if you can see the scale. What up my dudes? What up my dudes? Hey. never been on Hell's Revenge, it's really not nearly as intimidating as you might think. There are definitely some really 
challenging obstacles. But for the most part, you're going over a lot of these sort of very thin sort of trail pathways. And you can, it's very easy to see where the trail is because you just follow the black marks. There's definitely places where you feel like you're like just steps away from dying. But if you're careful um, and really paying attention, it's really not too big of a deal. What'd you say? My gun wrong. <laughs> so I don't think you should be walking around with that because people may not know that it's a toy. Yeah, you're this is Hell's Gate. Yes, it really is the gate to hell. <laughs> I'm not even gonna make it suspenseful. I'm, I'm not doing it. There's, there's no, I'm just not. If I had somebody with us, I, I trust Colin, but I mean, he even said, here's the thing, it's, a, it's my daily driver. It's not a cheap truck. I really, I have no, I have no interest or desire and the truck is more than capable. Somebody was asking me a minute ago. It's me that's not. All right, who's doing it? <laughs> Colin? Megan, I want to. I wish I had my forerunner that I know the, the capability is better. And like you were saying, yeah. Jason, if we, if we had someone who knew the lines here, yeah. is what I tell myself anyways, well, who knows if I'd <laughs> even do it then. This is what it looks like from the bottom looking up. Unless you're here in person, it, it never does it any, you know, just doesn't do it justice. Get shards of broken glass down there. I think I had cheese on my sandwich. Oh, uh-oh. That power wagon comes with a stock winch, right? It's not a power wagon, it's it's just a 2500. Oh, okay. Um, and the winch wasn't stock. Uh, the guy that built it put it on there. So, but I have a winch. Yeah, it looks <laughs> nice. So what do you say, is the Montero gonna do it? Oh. No, <laughs> Oof, no. We're gonna sit on the sideline. Yeah. We're going, we're going camping too, that's intense. That is intense. <laughs> camping intense is not too intense for me. Hell's Revenge is not too intense, but Hell's Gate we will be intense is later. too intense. We will be intense later. Isn't that Murphy's Law? What? I said he made it as soon as I got out. Four by four. Just helping Jason with his camera. This is half the work here. He's just picking up cameras. Uh oh, we got dirt bikes coming. Talking to the people. <laughs> Are you making fun of my line? <laughs> Why did he go that way? He somehow hit his high clearance front bumper. You can take whatever line you want with that thing. <laughs> it seems like it. You were mentioning earlier you like the way mine sounds, but I actually oftentimes wish I had a V8. <laughs> Cause the Tundra V8 actually, the five, five, seven, five point seven liter. It's a, it sounds really good. Now I'm wondering five, seven or five, eight. We'll put it on the screen right there if we're wrong. <laughs> yeah. In all though, I'm like super pleasantly surprised. I don't know, maybe I'm not surprised. Surprise is the right word. Cause everybody I've talked to, you know, AJ and other people that have, Dave and other people that have wheeled these, uh, these big trucks, they said that it doesn't have any problems on stuff like this. What do you think, Ben? Nice. Holy, I don't remember this. This is... I don't know if you can see it here in the camera, in the 360. 
but it is intimidating. I'm scared. Hey, can you film it? It's not. It's my line, all right? Yep, just go straight down there. Got it in four low, obviously. Got it in first gear, and I've got the exhaust brake on just to help my descent. I'm braking a little bit, but not much. And our descent is very controlled. This is so much tamer than it looks. It looked insane. Yeah, it's just that top section is really- oh. At the top, you're looking down and you're seeing everybody. And you're like, what the? It's very intimidating. It's not so bad doing it though. No. I'll tell you, I was freaking out for a second. I'm not ashamed to admit it. That's how I'd be like this steep. Just... This is actually a lot better than I thought it'd be. Yeah. This could have been way worse. Mm -hmm. This is so pretty. Like I'm far from qualified to give you a actual re an actual review on House Revenge. This is only the second time I've done it, but I will tell you this: it's scary, it's dangerous. If you're not careful, you really could get hurt, or you could damage your vehicle. All of that. However, don't be so intimidated by it because if you're semi comfortable doing any of this kind of stuff, there's easy lines around everything. It's it's definitely doable if it's something that you really want to do. Take a buddy. Be safe. It was a lot of fun. Actually, something that I was reminded of in the video is that I forgot to touch up my steel bumper, actually a little tow hook. Touching up steel bumpers really isn't all that complicated. Really all you need is uh, an angle grinder. Some of this stuff, Trail Power Scott, he recommended it. It's uh, engine enamel with ceramic. I got it on Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. So you can see right here on the little tow hook thing, got a pretty good abrasion right there. Really all you need to do is just grind it down and paint it. It's pretty much that simple. You're talking about a steel bumper here. I mean, if you're gonna be real finicky about stuff and then go scratch it up on the trail, I mean, I guess that's, that's your prerogative. But uh, for me, I just wanna prevent rust, even though that much rust isn't gonna do any harm in a very short amount of time. But over a long period of time, you definitely wanna have that taken care of. I'm no professional spray painter, that's for sure. But one of the things that I have learned is you do a light coat, wait a couple of minutes, five minutes, let it dry, then do another light coat. Do that three or four times until you get it to where you want it to be. Because you put too heavy of a coat on, it starts dripping. It doesn't look very good. Yeah. 
in a perfect world you'd tape and mask off and prevent overspray or whatever, but I do really care with this because all of this right here could potentially get scraped up at some point in time on the trail and I'll just end up touching it up then. Besides that, this really, 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 really blends very well with this uh, particular finish, powder coat finish. This is the angle grinder I use. It's just a cheap block and decker unit I got off Amazon. Serves the purpose. Once again, my name is Jason Kirchner. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Hope you really, 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 really enjoyed it. We got another little quick Moab day thing coming up and then uh, we're on to what's next. My name's Jason Kirchie. This is my YouTube channel. Make sure you like it. If you liked it, make sure if you don't like it, hit the dislike button twice. And we'll see you guys in the next, oh wait, make sure you're subscribed. You're supposed to say that every single time, right? And we'll